Hell's Kitchen is a once in a lifetime opportunity as there's no greater prize for a chef than having their own Michelin star restaurant and being a protege of Gordon Ramsay, not to mention the general skills you pick up from Ramsay during Hell's Kitchen, which is something that so many chefs would give anything to experience firsthand. But despite this amazing experience and prize, it's called Hell's Kitchen for a reason, and whether due to the stress, an injury, or bizarre circumstance, some chefs have gone on to call it quits in the middle of the competition. What's going on guys, I'm Flint Masters, and today, we'll be looking at the history of chefs quitting Hell's Kitchen. Before we begin, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button for more fun HK content like this. And with all that said, let's take a look back at the Hell's Kitchen quitters, the reason for their quits, and how I think they would have done had they not chosen to quit. Bloody hell, here I go again. Let's first knock out the rage quits, as they are after all the bread and butter of quits in Hell's Kitchen. The first rage, and first quit in general, came 33 episodes into the series, as Jeff completely lost his cool, walking away from his dream in the blink of an eye, and this was one of the first true instances that showed the audience at home that Hell's Kitchen was not for the faint of heart. Jeff, you heard that? No, I, I'm, I'm gone. I'm, I'm... You're not a quitter. Hey, you're not a cook either. Good. What was that? What did you just say? What did you say? Okay. You don't like me. I don't yeah. know what to tell you. You're a Unbelievable. That is not cool. Send my home. I've had enough of you. Go, please. Two seconds. Jeff will not be returning to Hell's Kitchen. In season 7 and season 12, we had two completely out of nowhere rage quits from Andrew and Joy. Now while Andrew was definitely a creepy guy, he had a fine first couple of days, and you would think by this point in Hell's Kitchen, chefs would know that Ramsay is going to call out your mistakes, but Andrew simply wasn't having any of that after Ramsay indeed got frustrated with his performance, prompting him to walk out of Hell's Kitchen for good. Don't cut it! Oh no! Why? He put the thick stuff in, you had the runny to it! That was a brilliant idea, chef and you have the liquid to it. That's not gonna make any ounce of difference there, it's gone. That's not true. Yeah, Thank off. You. Let me tell you something straight. Thank You've you. got nothing right. You know what? You're a joke to the industry. Yeah, that's yeah. what you are. What are you doing here? I'm walking out the damn door. What does it look like I'm doing? I don't really care what Chef Ramsay thinks of me. I'm done. You have a nice day. But while Andrew's quit was shocking, that's nothing compared to Joy's rage quit. Joy was without question the front runner heading into the final five, yes, final five of season 12, as she was young, a good leader, and had dominated the entire competition after her shaky premiere. But then she threw it all away after one simple mistake. Absolutely unreal. Jeff, I'll Can I finish my sentence? Plain English. I would like the garnish to the halibut before the halibut. Can I finish cooking, Chef? A young lady, if you're in the mood, don't take it out of my food. I'm done. You're done. I'm done with this. Joy, no. What a selfish attitude. One thing wrong and you run away. Absolutely phenomenal. I'm trying to tell you. No, you're not telling me. You're arguing, you're shouting. I'm done. Hey, I know you're done. It shows in your cooking. Okay, fine. Get out. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Speaking of Unreal, imagine getting a second chance of a lifetime only to quit a couple days into the competition because you thought Chef Ramsay was trying to sabotage you. Well, that's exactly what Jen did during the second service of Hell's Kitchen Rookies vs. Veterans. I'm short of the duck garnish. I've got one portion out there and barely a third of the next. You just pulled that from under there, Chef. You come threw in. that under there. I gave come you in. enough leaks. I gave you the leak, come Chef. Here. All of you, come here. All of you, come Ooh. here. I appreciate get it. You bring me back, but you're not going to disrespect me. Hey. Front at door. the end of the day, you yeah. lying, Chef. Yeah. You trying to sabotage me. Uh, really? Where? You set me where? up. You throw the pan You're making an excuse. You're lying. Have a good one, Chef. You haven't got it. You know that. I do have it. Get out. And there's plenty of people that think so. But you might not disrespect me in here. But of course, the most famous and iconic rage quit, and for that matter, the most iconic moment in Hell's Kitchen history, is Joseph's insane rage quit during the second nomination ceremony of season 6. And yeah, who knows what caused this outburst from Joseph, but I'm just gonna let the clip speak for itself. Who's the first nominee for the men? They can speak for themselves, but they know who they are. I know you may be slightly stupid. First nominee and why? Tony. He knows why, you know? No peer pressure. We're men. Just, 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 what do you want, a medal? What do, what do you want me to say? I ask the questions, you give the answers. That dog, I ain't here for that. You wanna talk some Let's go step outside. You wanna talk about fighting? Oh, wow. You wanna get rough? Do you think I'm scared? Huh? Look at you. I asked you one simple question, and you couldn't answer me. And then you wanna get all tough and up close and personal. 
You. There you go. You've got no respect. No respect. Now get out. You. Watch the step. Yeah, watch the step, bitch. It's a bit harsh to call these next two chefs as quitters, as they were essentially medically evacuated, but nonetheless, they both officially go down in the record books as a quit, so let's talk about them. Vanessa had a very interesting early run in season 4, as she shined at the signature dish, crashed and burned as leader on opening night, and nearly escaped elimination on night 3. However, she obviously had shown promise, and this did set up a good comeback arc for her. Unfortunately, we would never get to see how Vanessa would have done this season, after she had a freak accident during the family night dinner service. myself there was oil in a saute pan and when I picked it up it poured all over my hand. While the doctors let her come back, Vanessa ultimately threw in the towel, as not only was she concerned for her own safety, but she was also looking out for her team, as she knew her injury would drag them down. A truly classy and heroic exit for Vanessa. So the choice is yours to leave house kitchen or to stay. If I can't be here 100%, Chef, I don't want to be here. I respect your decision. If you'd be so kind to go and say goodbye to your team. I made my choice. My team is better off without me than with me. I don't consider myself a failure. Hell's Kitchen is an immersion in fire, and it's too much for me. The following season, G injured her ankle before service, yet despite the injury, she was still able to perform very well throughout the night. Unfortunately, being on her feet the entire day made her injury even worse, and in the end, the pain was simply too much to handle, and right before Ramsey made his choice between Lacey and Colleen, G pleaded to Ramsey and her team that she had to go, leading to arguably the most heroic exit in Hell's Kitchen history. And to this day, one of Hell's Kitchen's greatest what-ifs is how far G would have gone this season had it not been for her injury. Oh, are you okay, G? All of a sudden, you hear, ow, and she might have sprained it. I'm not sure. It, it doesn't look good. Go ahead and try to keep it. Oh, I know. I know. Oh. I'm in pain. My decision is... Chef? G? Yes, yeah, Chef. I feel that I'm half a manpower in, the, in your kitchen, Chef. I want the girls, the red team, to win. Colleen? Lacey, both of you, get back in line. Thank you, Chef. Get back in line. Keep hold of your jacket Thank as a symbol you. of courage, pride, because you've done bloody well. Yes, Chef. I know I could have gone all the way. It sucks to leave, you know. Maybe it was just not meant to be. We then have two very odd occurrences of quits in Hell's Kitchen, as they took place during the nomination ceremony, please. The time when most chefs usually fight for their lives. But I guess in Aaron's case, he knew he was a goner against Bryant, and after the two got into a heated argument in the dorms, he didn't want to give Bryant the satisfaction of surviving the block, so he called it quits right before getting eliminated, which honestly, in retrospect, was pretty savage on his part. Aaron, why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? Actually, Chef, as much as I'd love to run a restaurant for you, but I don't think winning Hell's Kitchen is actually going to get me any closer to my goal. Wow. For me, I need more education. I'd like more education. I think you would have learned a lot more here. You know, I'm not going to waste my time with you any longer. Give me your jacket, please. Thank you for the education, Chef. Good luck. Thank you. Disappointing. But then in an exact opposite case, there's Simone, who appeared to quit out of nowhere right before Ramsey made his decision. And the most shocking part about this is that more than likely, he was going to eliminate DeMarco or Mike instead, as even he looked shocked at Simone's last minute quit. My decision is... It's okay, Chef. I can go. Simone, good night. Hell's Kitchen is about making someone's wish come true. Simone wished to leave Hell's Kitchen. That is an easy one. Wish granted. 
We then had a pretty funny quiz in Season 11, as after Gina and Nedra had been fighting non-stop since arriving in Hell's Kitchen, and in general, Gina not feeling like her team gave a damn about her, she intentionally sabotaged them, quitting right before the challenge, and costing them the numbers. They're screaming for me to catch up with my team. What team? These little bitches haven't treated me as a team member. Now, this morning. Excuse me, chef. I have something to say. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be staying here for this challenge. I'm gonna be leaving. I have some personal issues. Unfortunately, I have to. I'm not gonna stop you. Pack your stuff and leave Hell's Kitchen. Thank you, chef. Right on the team challenge, this stupid bitch backs out. Bitch, you gonna back out doing a competition? That bitch folded like a piece of wet paper towel. So I know Gina quit and all, but couldn't we have at least kept her puppet in the game? I mean, surely he could have been more useful to the red team than Danielle. I like it, the sausage baby over here. Gordon, what the hell kind of name is that Night, I say you sleep it with the one eye open. We finish off with two very different quits from season 18. While Model's quit was super happy and motivating, Chris's was dark and depressing. After suffering a face injury 9 months prior to Hell's Kitchen, that left Chris in a very dark spot. Those demons unsurprisingly came back during his stay in Hell's Kitchen, and understandably, he quit to get medical help right away, before it got even worse. Chef, when you have a second, talk to you? Yeah, of course. It's, um... It's just, um... Can you breathe for me? You're making me yeah. nervous. Okay. No, no, I just, um... I'm gonna be bowing out of Hell's Kitchen. Today? I got to my accident, like, I was in a very, very, very dark spot. Like, those feelings that, like, I once felt that I've tried so hard to get away from, I feel, like, creeping on me again, which is real, real scary. If I don't get myself out of it, it's a very, 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 very yeah, dark path. I don't, I don't want you to go there. I appreciate your honesty. Now, let me go uh, talk to Gordon quick and see if he can grab you for a couple minutes. Uh, first of all, your health and your well-being is number one. That's yes, priority, OK? If you're uncomfortable and you're feeling demons, then you need to go and get help. I want you to go straight to somebody and talk immediately, OK? That's the I'm yeah. not going to do anything other than that. I'll help you with that. Thank you, chef. And to take yourself off an opportunity thousands would kill for. It. But for me, it's just absolutely the right thing to do. But let's end off on a happy note, shall we? Even though Motto had dominated Season 18 for the rookies and was a potential winner candidate heading into the Final Four, he truly felt his passion was back home at his restaurant in Baton Rouge and didn't want to cost Brett, Ariel, or Mia the win, as Hell's Kitchen was truly their dream job as opposed to his. Not only was this a selfless act, but Ramsey still left the door open for Motto if he were to ever leave Baton Rouge. We did come to a decision. I put forth myself. I don't want to give up on Baton Rouge. I want to go back and share this wealth of knowledge that you've given me to elevate that town's culinary scene. And I feel like that's the place I need to be. Wow. I'm surprised, but I respect your decision. Mono, step forward. I want you to accept this from me. Once you're done in Baton Rouge and you're ready for the next move, call me. Yes, chef. Thank you for the opportunity, chef. Oh, man. So let's finish off with my predictions on how I think these chefs would have done had they not quit. For the rage quits, Jeff and Jen weren't long for the competition anyway, as they were the weakest chefs on their respective teams. While Scott proved he was arguably Hell's Kitchen's greatest leader, I just simply think it was too little too late for him, as Joy dominated season 12, and I truly think she would have won the competition had it not been for a meltdown. Andrew is extremely ambiguous, as again, he made Liddy one mistake and quit, so I could see him being one of the next couple of boots, or making it far, especially since he was on the dominant season 7 blue team. And then there's Joseph. I mean yes, he was an absolute firecracker, but to say he didn't show himself to be a good cook would just be wrong, and for better or for worse, he he definitely had a voice in the kitchen. While it was only two episodes, I can't imagine him being worse than say Sabrina or Andy, who just missed out on the black jackets, so I really do think he would have at least made it to the final six, if not further, had he just answered a simple freaking question. For the injury quitters, as mentioned, many people have discussed how far G would have gone in season 5, and while I would put a lot of money on her making it to the black jackets, I just simply can't see her outshining Paula or Danny. hence, I think she would have finished around 3rd or 4th place. As for Vanessa, she's a tricky one, as yes, she had been weak so far, 
but I definitely could have seen her make a comeback and maybe have been a feel good black jacket elimination. But more than likely, I see her getting eliminated around the final 10 to 8 range. For the other quits, Gina and Simone were both obviously going to be booted soon anyway, and that is likely the case for Chris as well. As yes, he did have all the tools to be great, but he just didn't prove himself during his short stay in Hell's Kitchen, and unfortunately, his injury was probably the main cause for this. And lastly, there's the big one in Mato, who again was a front runner all of season 18. While I do think he definitely makes it to the finale, to me, Ariel had proved herself in two separate seasons to be a great chef, and most importantly, improved her leadership big time in season 18. So I think Mato would have been the runner up. So there you have it, guys, the entire history of quitters in Hell's Kitchen, along with how I think they would have done had they not quit. If you enjoyed this video, then please help out the channel by liking and subscribing, and leave a comment down below on which quit you think had the biggest impact on the season. Be sure to check out my other Hell's Kitchen history of videos as well, and until next time, have a good one, guys. Get out of there.